Hello everybody, Andrea Tarowski here with Dental Well Tutoring. Please excuse the mess again if you haven't seen the videos that I, I've been doing pretty much all week. Um, we moved last week, so we're still slowly but surely unpacking. And Tom and I have just been working so much that we just haven't had a lot of time to yet. So sorry about the mess behind me, but the funny thing is I actually see Lily, um, one of my dogs, just kind of resting. Oh yeah, she says hi. <laughs> She says hello, everybody. My um, other dog, um, Daisy, is somewhere downstairs. I'm sure she'll be up soon. But anyway, enough about that. What I would like to talk to you guys about today is anatomy. And I've been using this textbook here. Um, pretty much all anatomy textbooks are okay. You know, you do not have to spend the money on buying the newest textbook because anatomy doesn't change. Obviously, right? Anatomy doesn't change. But I find the newer textbooks seem to have, they're easier to understand because they include more pictures and less text. So that's kind of nice too. But I would like to talk about a little bit about anatomy because I am actually tutoring my um, Dental L members on anatomy this Sunday. So I thought that I would just kind of do an introduction to it because for the board exam, you don't have to know as much as you think you might have to. You do need to know the head and neck but there are certain muscles that they never ask about. There are certain areas, um, landmarks, that they never ask about. Um, I hate to say never because, of course, as soon as I say this, probably on your next, um, your next exam, they will start asking it. But So I just kind of like to give you guys an overall um, heads up of kind of where to start. Because if you simply open up your anatomy textbook, there's no sense reading the whole thing. Like, there's just no point. Um, if you're studying for the board exam, you will be spending weeks studying anatomy when you probably have to spend maybe a day and that's it. Like, you don't have to go in it as thoroughly as you might think. But the nice thing, though, too, about anatomy is everything that you learn, you will use when you start working. There's nothing more um, exciting, if that's the right word for it, than showing a patient certain landmarks on the x-rays. Or if they have, um, let's say that they're having um, sinus issues, you know, it's nice to have an idea of where the sinuses are, which is obvious to some, but not to all. Um, so it's nice to have a good overall, I guess, knowledge of anatomy. So I did save actually some images here. So I'm going to share my screen. So this will just take a moment. I put some on a PowerPoint for everybody. Can everybody see my screen okay? Now I'm going to make myself smaller so then that way you can see the full anatomy screen. Now it's hard to see, of course, because um, we aren't in one of my lessons. So I'm just kind of showing you guys my screen um, from the PowerPoint here. So if you can't see all of the text, that's okay because I will just explain to you what you have to know. And this is a perfect example right here of all you have to know. I mean, not all, but the majority. So if you simply wanted to get started with anatomy, the best thing to do is to actually print off something like this. There are some um, images online that show maybe less than half of this. So if you print off that other image that is showing maybe half of what's showing here, you're not going to learn enough. But this image is perfect because it gives you a good overall idea of the bones of the skull, okay? They, there are a lot more. So simply um, what you see here, there are a lot more, but do you have to know them all? No. So the main things that I want you guys to focus on is think of your main um, bones of the skull. So your um, forehead here. They love to ask you guys about the forehead. So what um, bone is that? That is the frontal um, bone. And then what about the bones on the sides, okay? So on the sides here, there are two of them, is the um, parietal. And you can see that right here. And they actually have them um, color coded, which is nice. So the parietal is right here. And what about the bone in the back? They always love to ask about the bone in the back here. So they typically um, refer to it on the board exam as the back of the skull. What is this bone here? That is the occipital bone. And actually, I don't think you guys have it in here showing you where that is. So I'm happy that I'm talking about it. 
So it's um, the bone back here, okay? Now, what about the bone here, okay? So think of your um, cheekbones. What bone um, fits the cheekbones? And you can actually see them there in orange here. The um, zygomatic bone, okay? So these are the cheekbones. And what about the bone here? Now you all should know which one that one is. So that is the maxillary bone, right? And then the mandible is this one here. See how easy that was? So that is a very simple um, overall sort of um, review of the bones of the skull. So like those you have to know the most, if that makes sense. That's horrible English, but those ones you need to know like the back of your hand. And then to take it a step further, I want you guys to know the lacrimal um, bone, which is, you might not be able to see it, but the lacrimal is over here. So close to your eye socket and your nose. They love to ask about the lacrimal. And there's two. So close to your eye socket and your nose. So not over here, not up here, but your lacrimal is near your eyes and your nose. So you guys need to know that as well. The orbital um, surface of the maxilla, you should know that too. So that's kind of on the bottom here. So think of your eye socket on the bottom. So remember, your lacrimal was on the sides here. And I kind of feel like I should make myself larger. So I am going to make myself larger now. So the lacrimal is right here. Um, what did I just say? The, um, the shoot, I just kind of lost my train of thought. Oh yes, sorry. The orbital um, surface is on the bottom. The lacrimal is kind of off to the side. So does everybody see the difference? It's probably easier to look in the image here anyway. Um, and the nice thing is that if you're um, a member of either um, the Board Exam Prep Academy or the Dental L Student Program, we talk about all of this. So we, we actually go a lot more in depth because our session is typically an hour, sometimes more if we need it. So, so this is just kind of a good overall. Now the one that um, students always forget is the um, vomer. So V-O-M-E-R. So that's kind of right in the middle of your nose. Now it's inside. So I can't show you where that is because it's inside the nose. But does everybody see this middle part right here? That is the vomer, okay? They want you to know that and students always forget. So that's just something that I want you guys to know. Um, and the ramus of the mandible. So you have the mandible, but then off to the side. So, uh, sorry guys, here, let me move my hair. So off to the side, this is your ramus of the mandible. And thankfully I have a very easy to see mandible, if that makes sense. Like you can see where it starts, the angle and my chin here, right? So this whole piece, of course, um, and on the other side too, is the mandible. So um, the ramus is over here. Does that make sense? And your chin, you need to know your chin, the mental um, protuberance. I can never say that. Mental protuberance, that is your chin. So I'm probably saying that wrong, but you need to know that as well. I apologize if I'm moving too fast, but I kind of would like to keep this video short and sweet because you all like the shorter ones. If you want the longer ones, then you should be a Dental L member because we have like our long ones, okay? So they're long. Um, okay, uh, let's see. And clearly you can tell that I love talking about this stuff. I love talking about anatomy. As a student, I hated it because you had to memorize everything, right? But I've been tutoring now for 13 years, so now I actually like it. So I like to talk about it. So if you have questions, please let me know. Um, but yes, you guys, so I was talking about the mandible. So the ramus and then um, the body of the mandible. So the ramus starts and stops here and then continues at the body of the mandible and then the mental protuberance here, okay? Um, is that easy so far? I could go more in depth, but those are the main things you have to know. So does everybody understand that so far? Now, moving on here, let's talk about the sutures. And I'm going to make myself smaller again so you guys can see this. And I'm going to make my image larger as well. So the sutures. 
Okay. Now, some of these you actually don't have to know. So I'm going to tell you the ones that are always on the exam. So if you look at the main sutures, those are the ones that are always on the exam, okay? So your coronal suture is kind of in the middle here. Does everybody see that? You guys need to know that. Now, how can I show you guys sort of how this is showing you guys on the skull? Because it's kind of backwards. So the back of the skull here is, is um, sorry, I was... I'm showing you guys on my screen, um, but you guys can't see that. So the back of the skull is right here. So does everybody see where it says the occipital? This is the back of the skull here. So um, if you're trying to landmark. Now, this actually isn't the best picture because it's um, a skull of a newborn. So you know what, you guys? I want to find you a skull of an adult. So if you guys could bear with me for a second. In fact, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to find a skull of an adult and then I'll continue. Okay, everybody. So I find, um, I found a better picture. So the skull of an adult. So let me share my screen here. Okay. Can everybody see this? Okay. I am going to keep the webcam small. So then that way you guys can see this um, lovely picture of the skull. So the skull of a newborn, they typically do not ask about that on the exam because it's so small and all of the sutures aren't present and some of the sutures that are present quickly um, fuse together. So they don't ask um, that on the board exam because you would not be seeing a newborn, you know, so it wouldn't make sense. But they will ask you about the skull and the sutures of an adult. So all of these, you guys have to know, okay? So make sure to study them. So let me explain them a little bit. And the landmarks are the same. So the back of the skull back here, the um, occipital, okay? So we are starting here. So the um, frontal um, bone here, they are showing. Um, and the frontal eminence is like right kind of in here. So if they ever ask you the middle of the forehead, that is called your, your um, frontal eminence, okay? But then if you move further back, your coronal suture, and then, um, so the coronal suture is um, horizontal, and then um, vertically is your sagittal um, suture, and then you have your lambdoidal, which I'm probably saying that wrong, sorry, lambdoidal suture closer to the back towards the occipital. So does that make sense to everybody? Easy, right? Easy. So you have to memorize these um, sutures. You don't have to memorize any of the other ones. These are the main ones. And the photo that I showed you guys before, this one here, make sure to memorize that. So let me stop sharing my screen. So sorry that this video was a little bit longer. Um, so yeah, so I talk about more about anatomy um in my courses so if you're interested let me know and i would be more than happy to teach you because i love it but i do hope that this helped any questions let me know and i will see you guys very very soon